What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the final leg of the PGA Tour in our first season before we start our run to the FedEx Cup finale. So let's get started and let's see if we can bounce back from a pretty horrific uh, last round at the Open as I'm sure you can all agree. If you've seen that video, you know how bad it was for me. If you haven't seen that video, then I heavily go suggest you go back and check That's that one out because to say we bottled the poker. open and being able to win it would be an absolute understatement. So as always, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So here we are then. First hole, second shot from the bunker. Starting as we mean to go on. And we just keep out of trouble. Looking for another approach now to get us in and around the bunker, I think. In and around the hole, I should say. Go on, chip in, chip in. No, just wide. Just wide. And the AI has got us to two under already. So we're going to use that to our advantage, I think. I should just... Oh, around the world, and it goes in for the par. There we go. Two under Francesco Molinari leads. Three under after five. And we've got the next hole to deal with. So let's see what we can do on the fifth hole. Playing at TPC Boston. Don't have too many memories of playing this course yet. So, relatively new experience if we haven't already played it in the career course. Need that to land softly, and it has. Just before the bunker. Yeah, we're happy with that. On the number at 150 yards to the front. 160 to the hole. With the iron. Definitely hurting in his face. Straight at the pin, I think. Oh, that's going to be good. That's lovely. That's a lovely shot. Well, I don't have my take, but that's, that's what we need. We need a confidence booster shot. heading into this last round of the, of the, of the of FedEx bird. Cup. Or well, the last few weeks. Yes, good Let's get ourselves it's going as we move to three ball. under. And whilst we've had this gap in between career modes from the start of the week to the end of the week, I've uh, done some more qualifying on 2K on the TGC tours, and it didn't go too well. So I've hit practice mode in, in terms of in, like, uh, what I'm calling practice mode in the career mode on 2K and uh, trying to get my scores down because I've been hitting a lot of 7 pluses, 10 pluses. Um, and now uh, I've had my first round on the master swing at about and i finished on three under so that's real progress for me so i'm hoping over the next week i'll be able to show you that progress um and we'll be able to maybe do some do some interesting things on the tgc tour now i can't my chickens just chickens just oh, yet though right but anyway enough of that let's get shot. into this shot here Going straight to the right. Wind's pushed it, but we're on the green. Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. That's oh, whizzing away. It's going to the ball. Oh. I said it was going to the ball there, didn't I? It's going to the hole was what I meant to say. Putting balls and holes. That's what we're here for, folks. Lovely stuff. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the six. Well, two pars and a birdie. Not a bad way to start. Norlander now this is where gets the three under. The alongside five, myself seven, and Molari. 600 yards. 600 yards. What an absolute ripper. Then, there's that enormous bunker crossing the entire fairway for your second shot. This is Good all you Lord. want. This isn't going to be easy. We're going for it. 
Oh, it's gone right. I wanted it to go left. Oh, look out. That is way right. Oh, that is thick rough as well, ladies and well, gentlemen. This time, that one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. There's no way we get anywhere near that, surely. It's 14 feet up as well. We've just got to lay this up, I think. Get onto the fairway and just take a medicine, I think. Yeah. Down the fairway. Hit a nice approach. Okay, back into the fairway. Put it for birdie, I think. Long road home from there. A little uphill Orange. to this green. Fourteen foot up. There's a strong wind as well. Push it a bit further, I think. See a strong wind. It'll do something from here, though. That could be all right, you know. Yeah, that's where it's out. All right. Great shot. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Great chance at birdie. Slight movement. Left to right. Oh, it's um, cut the hole. Oh. That's not what you want to see. Oh, I can't believe we've missed that. The chance at birdie there, gone. Finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain right where he is. And that'll be it for the day one, and we'll finish on two under. Shawfield finishing on seven under for the day. Tommy Fleetwood there, you can see as well on four under. Son James just below him on four under as well. So we've started relatively well. I think we could have got a, a bit more there in that round. Um, I guess we've just got to try and put put the foot down over these next couple of rounds and try and get ourselves into a competitive position for the for the final round. I guess. Uh, we're going to start on one under, though, so we have dropped some shots. I think it said we're starting on the 10th, so that should be... What? We'll probably play four holes today. Let's see what it says. EA Sports and the PGA Tour Cameron Young, proudly seven under. The season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From TPC Boston, if we can make a run here on these holes that we play, the then... We're two shots above the cut right now. We we're and we've got four holes to play. Next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Oh, gone so right to the left on that swing. On the turn Didn't get that right. To the the Pinned right in the heavy rough. Ooh, and that went straight down. That's going to be tough from there. And we just have to go for it, to be honest. we have what's that chance at one come on oh that's lovely didn't think we'd get that far to be honest i thought we were going to be short of the green oh my lord look at their movement on this bad boy get this right you're an absolute legend oh we just didn't get it right oh the putter just can't seem to get the putting right at the minute Oh, it's not going to be an easy one for birdie either. Uh, for par, I should say. Go in. That's all I ask. So Thank you. For par to start this backside. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. Here we go. Six but shots back. Three holes to go. You can get into here at this par three Uphill par three, 231 yards. We like a challenge. Yeah, it's one of the biggest greens on the golf course, Rich. And, and too often people try and go a little uh, flag hunting. If the flag's on the right side, you don't want to pay the price by finishing up in the bunker. There's no way we get up there, is there? I think we go up with the, I think we go with the four. Let the wind carry it. Get the strike right. Yeah, that could be all right, you know. Get up the hill. Come back down, come back down, come back down. Oh, it's just trickled into the rough. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Just want to get this nice and gentle. Going downhill, it's going to have momentum. Yeah, that'll do. Rescuing the power again. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. 
So that rushed in for par here at 11, and he'll remain at one under par. Yeah. This 12th hole is a beast of a par for looking to make 10 yards. It's the only hole a couple of shots here if we can on these last two holes before the cuts made. Dog leg to the left. Keep in mind what makes this hole hard in addition to the length is that water hazard. It is in play on your second shot so you can make a big number if you get sloppy here. Lovely. I'll do. Get over that bunker though. Please. Yeah, that's and a not nice looking, swing not result. making any gambles here. No point. Shot that is set up just fine. 14 foot drop. Second shot now. Freewood gets us there. That breeze can be tricky at his back. You don't want to over club. Can go with a five iron, get it close. On the green. There we go. On the green in well, two. Long, putt, on long eagle chance like here. Anything on the green is a welcome sight. Slow. Stay there. Stay there. Well, birdie chance though. That's the main thing. Make shots, not drop them. Oh, no. I thought it was a par five. I've misread and I've oh Missed no. It is a par I will, why did I think it was a par five? Stay right where he My is. mind has totally lost all equilibrium. Back to back par fours here at TPC Boston set the tee off Frank at the thirteenth. Come on then. Big tee shot here. Once again, Let's get on this one. Hitters. There's a little bit of a quarry that you've got to carry across. Fairwind pushing his back and a little bit uphill as well. But nice and straight shot will do us just fine. Again, a bit more uphill to get yeah, to the pin. Good tee shot right there. Got a little extra run out. That's where you want to be. Gotta Not much more uphill though, to be fair. Or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Seven iron. Pull that forward, I think. Oh, we've got the shot wrong. Got the swing wrong. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. One curve back round. Curve round for me. That'll do. Good recovery. I mean, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. I'll do. Okay, safely in for par. That'll be it for the 13. day. We move to two remain. under with a birdie on the last. But we're going to be way behind. So for our featured golfer, Frank, it is on to the weekend. Who knows? If you Six shots back. We're going to have to make some great recoveries. What happens? Exactly. There's such a... If we make six shots back, we've done really well, to be fair. We are eighth in the FedEx Cup rankings, though. And twelfth in the golf rankings, in the world rankings as well. Sheffield's going to have that big head start when it comes to the FedEx. Let's see what we can do in the third round here. Every weekend is an opportunity, and this is no different. Even so far after the first five, for the FedEx Cup, as you can see. Today from TPC Boston, live third round coverage of the New England Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower, overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay the third and Iona Steven. Good swing. Check the Saturday. Miss the tree. Russell Henley is the leader. He's currently there. We go. Under. Middle of the fairway. The That's where you want to be. We pick things up on the par four sixth hole. Going with the nine iron now. Pins at the front here, as you can see. And for a nice approach, hopefully. Just land softly for me. Land softly. Oh, we trickled onto the fringe, but we can put that from there. Yeah, let's put that from there. 
Lots of movement at the start. Oh, I didn't turn anymore, though. We was done by. Had to have a goal, though, didn't we? Right about nine feet here to the hole. And there we yeah, go. That's well done. He's able to save his par. And he'll stay right where he is. Moving now to the massive 600 yard par 5 7 tall long and accurate. All right, let's see if we can get something going on this par 5. Players have to deal with a huge get the drive right. The entire fairway on That's what we're going to try and shot. do. We got it horribly wrong last round. Let's see if we get it right now. Stay on that fairway. Stay on the fairway. That's it. And that will do just fine. 300 yards to go. Can. can could wood this onto the green, I think. Asking a lot, though, from here. We're going for it. Get up there. Get up there. That's all right. I'm sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. That'll do. Create a birdie opportunity now. Let's make some shots up. Put some pressure on those guys in front of us. Stick it. Yeah, we go. Yes, runs that one right in. It's That's what we needed. Start as we mean to go on. His round three under for the week. Now to the par three eight, and Frank, what's the best way to go? Two hundred thirteen yards to this par three on the eight fall. Onto the eighth hole, Frank. Nice part three. Gotta get this, yeah, this approach is where right. The accurate iron player will definitely get an advantage over the field. Let's try and use, try and use the spin that we've got in the bag. Let it run off. It has. So difficult to judge these ones for me. That's gonna wind up too strong and over the green. Now we've got an interesting Oh that's not a good position. The strike was fine on We're gonna lose a shot here. We ain't getting getting this in. I'll tell you that much. Never say never. Nah, it's not turning too much. Thankfully, he didn't roll away down the other end of the green again. But we're going to drop the shot straight away. And the frustration that we've had for the majority of this season yeah, is coming back. Well done, though. It is for bogey here at the par three. And that's going to drop him to two under. And sort of in the middle of the pack, really, here, aren't we? Yard, par four, ninth. It is the longest par four not doing anything special, side. but not doing Long anything disastrous. An tee shot leading to a blind approach. And it's going to be our last hole today as well. For the third round. Hit that driver pretty solidly. And that'll do. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. Let's see what we can do with this one. Three yards out, this a tough Pushing second. it down a little bit. Left to right again. Eight iron's gonna. Put a bit of height on it. Hopefully. Hopefully it stops. Yeah. That's not too bad. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Stay the line. Stay the line. Stay the line. Stay. Oh, boy, that's a good stroke. I think the power is right. We were just too wide on the mark of it where we needed to aim. So he'll finish that off for his and we'll finish on two under. Level for his round. All the round. Nothing, nothing happening. 
And you can see we made shots, we dropped shots, we made shots, we dropped shots. So Frank, not much movement and it'll be 11 shots back going day. into the final round. They're going to find themselves pretty well out of the picture. We are not. We are not making that back. Certainly going backwards in my book. We've we've scored some great rounds, um, individual rounds, but we're not making eleven. And even if we do make eleven, we've still got them to have to drop shots. We're going to start on five under, and start on the fifteenth. But again, it is a very strange feeling going from 2K to EA. It is just two totally different feels of games. I, both games I do really enjoy, but it is a very strange feeling. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, our leader is the former Georgia Bulldog, Keith Mitchell. He's currently at 13 under. Nice drive. So let's get out to the course. Let's make a run. Ready deep into the round as let's we have some fun with this one, eh? On the par four, 15. Let's go for our shots, not hold back. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Get the wedge out. Come on, land nicely. Don't spin too much. That'll do. I hit it low in the aim of not doing that. Good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag. Right, let's get out of this hole then. Let's go the for it. Turn, 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 turn. That's a port, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That Not a great round. And that's going to move him to Great six round under so ball. far for us. Move to six under. TPC Boston's finishing stretch Still seven shots back on the leaders, unfortunately. Yard, par three, water guarding the front and left rear of the putting surface with a stone wall protecting the two-tiered green. I think we just need to make sure we get on the green here. Oh, we're not going to be on the green with a shot like that, though. Oh, that one's starting. Well, go and swimming. Watch out, ducks. Moving. Swans, oh, whatever you are. Very rare mistake in what has been a terrific round to this point, as that is going to be into the water. Okay, I'm going to so drop a shot drop again. And the penalty stroke. This will become his third shot now at the par three. Here we go. I'll do. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Oh, there's a bit of movement. I think we just stay straight then. Push it back. Oh, it's going to be double yeah, bogey, let's man. Go off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. There we go. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And that's going to drop him back to four under par. All right, you want to bring well, we were feeling great about ourselves after that long putt. 412 yard par four 17th. What's the way to play it? Just hit it down the right side. You don't really want to mess with that sort of rock crop bunkers down the left side. All sorts of bad things happen if you finish there. Put some draw on it. Get around that tree. Oh, that's beautiful. We couldn't have hit a better okay, shot on a drive if we tried. Tricky fairway to hit, but that is going to wind up fine. 93 yards is the number as he sets for his second. Let's go for the pin. We have land nicely. There we go. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. So much running on this, isn't there? Come on. In the hole. There we go. Oh, yes. Two great putts there in the last few holes. It is in for a birdie. 
And he'll move now to five under par. On to the finishing hole here at TPC Boston. What can we expect, Frank? Drive down the left side, and then it's all about the second shot. On to the 18th and a big par five to finish out the round. Yeah, fun way. Let's see. Course record 61. Let's get this final hole. Par five. Okay, I'm looking at a power drive here. Let's get us as far up this course as we can. Hit that hill, move to the side. That's lovely. Yeah, nothing to Bit of carry as well. Follow 330. To this hole. And get on the green in two. And then go with a six iron here. It's moving, but that's that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. On the green too, that's what you want. Finish it in the right way. That's what I say. The slope here. The green landed so softly. Oh, too much. Oh, didn't move enough. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but let's finish it with a birdie then. Pretty good effort. Great way to finish off. And head to the FedEx Cup for the next tournament. And there we go. Okay, it's a Six nice under. finish, a birdie at 18. And this will be a strong final round score of 67. Best round, best round we've had all week, 67. Those two 71s in the second and third Boston round really not doing anything. It's that Eight under from Cantley at the end. Today. Yeah, and you can compare yourself, or you just have, with the best in the game, because they play there every year. 21st no it, we finish and for all of us again not EA a bad Sports, not a bad tournament overall partner, Frank, not but could it have been better probably again looking just to have a solid tournament after the after the disaster that was the final round of the open in the last career mode video again if you haven't seen that video go check that one out here right now and yeah thanks very much guys on the next episode we'll be playing the first leg of the FedEx Cup, and we will see you there. Thanks very much, guys.